Jamaica faces marijuana shortage as farmers struggle. Here's a summary of the article. Kingston, Jamaica, Jamaica is running low on ganja. Heavy rains followed by an extended drought, an increase in local consumption and a drop in the number of marijuana farmers have caused a shortage in the island's famed but largely illegal market that experts say is the worst they've seen. Jamaica, which foreigners have long associated with pot, reggae and Rastafarians, authorized a regulated medical marijuana industry and decriminalized small amounts of weed in 2015. Enforcement is spotty as many tourists and locals continue to buy marijuana on the street, where it has grown more scarce, and more expensive. Heavy rains during last year's hurricane season pummeled marijuana fields that were later scorched in the drought that followed, causing tens of thousands of dollars in losses, according to farmers who cultivate pot outside the legal system. Worsening the problem were strict COVID-19 measures, including a 6 p.m. curfew that meant farmers couldn't tend to their fields at night as is routine, said Kenrick Wallace, 29, who cultivates two acres in a kampong with the help of 20 other farmers. Paul Burke, CEO of Jamaica's Ganja Growers and Producers Association, said in a phone interview that people are no longer afraid of being locked up now that the government allows possession of small amounts. This post received a score of 53,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Jamaica facing marijuana shortage is a headline I never thought I'd get to see. That's 2021 for ya it's like Ireland running out of potatoes. The crazy thing about the famine is that they still produced enough potatoes to feed the population of Ireland, they just didn't have enough to meet England's demands for the rest of the empire. So England took what they had to distribute to the rest of the colonies and left the Irish with nothing. Large portions of Ireland were made into plantations to grow wheat for export to England to benefit English nobles in Ireland. The Irish were given small plots of land, just enough to grow potatoes to live off of. When the potato blight hit, the Irish wanted the wheat to feed themselves but the English said, no. Other nations offered assistance, at one point the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire offered a tremendous amount of assistance, which the English rejected as it was embarrassing. Six million people lived in Ireland. IIRC there was a custom at the time that offering more aid than the monarch was seen as an insult to her and the queen barely gave anything, so thanks for that one, Vicky. That's not just a custom of a particular monarchy, that's just a thing about the pride of autocrats, any outside aid is basically subversion or at least a diplomatic gesture meant to embarrass rival powers. That's why the Ottomans offered the aid. It wasn't done out of generosity or humanitarianism. Edit, I don't know why this blew up, but since you're here, why not spend the night with us over at R. Georgism? We don't bite winking face. Not just autocrats. There was a town in the southern U.S. in like the 60s that really needed a new bridge built. Funding kept getting held up in the legislature so somebody had the bright idea to wire Moscow and ask them to fund the project directly. The Kremlin agreed, but was quickly rebuffed as soon as the state legislature got wind and promptly passed a funding bill. Moral of the story, shame your government to get what you want. If that doesn't work, guess you need to break out the pitchforks. It's like spray painting penises over potholes. Not all heroes wear capes. Somebody spray painted penises over all the potholes in my mom in law's neighborhood once, and all the potholes got patched within days. Brilliant. Sounds like the US and Canada need to airdrop some good good to our friends down south. I wish I could be their guy pushing it out of the plane. Winds howling, crates dropping, the J in my mouth lit as I scream, some highs motherfucker. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.